guys and welcome back to Amanda T and me and uh, welcome to what might be the end of Inspector Waffles. I'm not really sure how much time we have left. I know that we have found the laser um, after a lot of muddling around. Sorry about that guys. Um, but yeah, we have our magic like screwdriver stick thing. So hopefully we can fix this situation and prevent some big disasters from happening. Also, possibly preventing a lot of cats from being neutered against their will. That might be a whole other game. I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, grab yourself something cozy and let's get back into it. Alright. We have our stick. We have our electricity. We're going for it. Alright, let's see if my mega screwdriver can do the job. The broom and screwdriver aren't attached to each other very well, so if the hatch is sealed too tightly, I'm screwed. Enough with the jokes. I'm going to turn into Patches or Morty if I keep it up. Back to the hatch. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Slowly. Almost. Finally, the hatch is open. I was worried my creation wouldn't hold. Now, a way to stop this machine. Well, I got the juice for ya. I'll try using the syringe to aim the milk punch into the laser. The punch is so strong, maybe it'll bork up the electrical stuff inside, right? Guess I don't have any better options at the moment. All right, here we go. Ooh, down the hatch it goes. Not too bad. We got sparks flying, good. Spectre, you need to get down here now. Just a minute, Spotty. You really need to get back here now. Okay, I'm coming. Can't leave alone for more than five minutes. And he starts whimpering. Not easy, easy taking care of a dog sometimes. Uh, I think we have friends. We have friends. Pepper! Surprised to see me so soon, Inspector. Last time was a catnip steal, I guess. If you hadn't caught the mad catter, I would have paid him back personally. On to business, though. No sudden movements, or I'll shoot. Come with me. Somebody needs to talk to you. Excuse me. Who are you talking about? Oh, little cat, you're ex you're expected. Oh, little cat, you're expected. But first, I need to know something. What were you doing outside? Trying to get on the roof? Did you mess with the laser? Tell me the truth. No, no laser, I promise. So what were you doing, then? I had to go out there and grab the key for the medicine cabinet. You can have it back if you want. Why would you have done that? I uh, I thought maybe there might be something in there I could use to make you sick. Make me sick? With headache medicine? What a moron. What of Cat Town's finest. Come along. Don't try anything stupid, mind you. And the police dog is invited too. Spotty, remember what I said about closing your eyes? Okay? Shut your mouth, Waffles. Move it. That's what I thought. Ah, now everyone is here. Hello, Waffles. Very good to see you again. Snowball, you're involved in this? And nice to meet you as well, Spotty. How are you here? I saw you in prison. You already know that wasn't me, Inspector. Don't play the fool. One thing I know not to do is underestimate you. And I'm confident you now understand the events of the last few days. I need to know what you're doing with this laser. Are you going to destroy the entire city? Goodness, no. What kind of mad cat do you think I am? Destroying the city? To what end? There's no point in doing that. I want power. And inciting a little chaos is the quickest way to get it. Cat Town will be under my paw soon enough. These are delusions of grandeur, Snowball. Perhaps for a small-minded cat such as yourself. But for me, this, this is ambition. No need for... Pedantry, though, I'm sure you're more interested in discussing some of the more confusing events from the last few days. That's true. You know me well. I'm grateful for you, you know? I've had so much fun with you lately. You deserve a pat on the back. The laser is ready, and now I'm just waiting for Patches to bring everyone out of the building. We have a couple minutes to spare. Wait! What did you say? You're not using the laser during the debate? Ha! <laughs> you see, friend? I'm always one step ahead. 
Okay, I guess we can interact now. Um, to start, we'll go back to the beginning. To the formulation of my greatest desire, control every soul in Cat Town. Some years ago, I created a corporation of thieves. We secured a large number of assets, became rich, and the police couldn't catch us. Yet I remained unsatisfied. Like Robin Wolf, we were not respected. We only inspired fear amongst the populace, and they saw us as a threat. Well, you didn't share money with the poor. Not completely true, dear cat. I paid people to do various jobs for me, some of whom were in need of cash. Unfortunately, they weren't as trustworthy as my original crew. Soon I had an epiphany. I'd never be able to control Cat Town unless I literally controlled their minds. No more ulterior motives, no undue fear, no doubting my ability. You're mad. Oh, I know, but it's a creative madness, and I'm proud of that. I had this little wild idea about hypnotizing our fellow citizens. We started simple, reverse psychology, classic conditioning, basic things, but we needed subjects to experiment upon first guinea pig. Okay, so you did psychological training on guinea pigs. No guinea pigs. Cats and dogs, of course. It took some time, but our first test was quite interesting. We tried, and believe succeeded, in making the subject believe he was someone else. How good was he, Waffles? You've met him. Do you know who I'm referring to? Yeah, it's his brother, Mallow. Ooh, your brother Mallow. He is, he's the one in prison. He believes he's you. Correct. He really looks just like me, don't you think? He's your brother, Snowball. How can you let him rot in prison? And I scratched his face for nothing. Yes, that is a shame. Collateral damage, as they say. In my defense, Mallow approached me in desperation many years ago. He was broke, his shop was going under, and he asked me for money. I seized the opportunity, and now he is my very own stunt double. It became very practical. It became a very practical setup. He'd be eating at a restaurant, every police cat and dog in town watching him. And on the other end of the city, I would be robbing a shop. That's why you always had an alibi. Now you're catching on. It was one of my best ideas, not even mentioning the other advantages it presented to me. Hmm. Mallow's a <clears throat> Mallow's chop. You said Mallow's lobotomization had other advantages. Lobotomization. <sighs> We're not such base animals, Waffles. He's my brother. Even if he wasn't the brightest, even if he wasn't the brightest kitten in our litter, I would never put him under the knife like that. But since he was on the team, I made use of him. We made him disappear to another city, and I was able to procure his old shop. And this cotton candy shop, let me guess. Someone lives hidden under there used as a safe house while Mallow was in prison. You, you'd you hide there while preparing whatever plans you had in mind. Hmm, maybe a little quicker than I expected. And as you sat quietly in the shop, your brother pushed pancakes off a rooftop. I must tell you the truth. We conditioned Mallow to be like me. Before this incident, I told him to hurt Inspector Waffles. He surprised even myself. He understood that killing your partner would hurt you more than just a physical wound. You're much too compassionate, Waffles. It's your weakness. A target on your back. Nothing to say, friend? You are the most cowardly and pathetic cat I know. The sentiment is appreciated. Now, back to my story. Mallow wasn't the only subject in the first batch of experiments. So you had a bunch of test subjects. Oh, yes. We hypnotized num a number of cats and dogs, mostly those who nobody would look for or notice behaving differently. Each of them possessed something we felt we could use to our advantage, a trait or an object. The Maple Market Cashier, for example, we knew the shop was located over sewer access, and we used it as our first safe house. We led our fake cult meetings too, but you already know about that. Okay, this is like the epitome of evil guy exposition. He's monologuing. Sometimes, though, the subjects had flaws. I spent many nights with Malo trying to share all my memories, but he would just forget the most important one of all. Did you notice it? It was about 
yeah, more than one way to skin a cat. I guess you remember what you said when Pancakes interrogated you. After catching you on the streets by sheer luck. Nothing is luck with me, Inspector. And of course I remember. There is more than one way to skin a cat. Eh. <clears throat> yep, Malo didn't know. That's how I knew something was off about him. You would never forget that moment. Uh, I knew it would happen someday. Inevitable, really. We had many failures. There was a dog that wasn't receptive to the experiments at all. We never determined why, but sometimes he would just black out. No bother. He was useless anyway. An antique collector or something, if I remember well. That's Lucius. I've met him. He was hypnotized by a fishing rod. Yes, that's him. Not my best creation, but I improved quite a bit from there. Wait, so the guy in the, like, shop, like, that's why he was totally spaced out? Hmm. Snowball's hypnotized sidekick. But how is it all this related to Fluffy's death? Patience, Inspector. As I was telling you, I had some inopportune results with hypnosis. It took too much time for how low our success rate was. I was close to cease ceasing everything. That is, until somebody gave me a peek at what was happening at Box Furniture. So he went to Fluffy's house, but not alone, with a powerful ally. Because Pavlov is incredibly strong. You need somebody strong. As strong as Pavlov, but... Yes, Pavlov was with me, but you know nothing of Fluffy's true identity. Without Pavlov, there was no way I could ever hope to defeat him. Pepper mentioned Pavlov to me some time ago, and when I met him, Pavlov's potential was immediately visible. Clearly an asset we wanted on the team. I knew we would need to do a thorough job with him, so we used a special method just for him. Classic conditioning and using a bell to boot. Precisely. It took far longer than we imagined, but the retraining was impactful. It didn't matter. He was ready to go um, by the time the box furniture intel arrived. What? Intel? That's quite interesting. Did you know that Box Furniture has R and D has an R and D department with an enormous budget? Very high tech stuff they produce. Odd for a cardboard company. No. They're experimenting on a new technology for collecting info on their different boxes. They called it barcodes. You use some kind of laser on it and it can edit them on a computer. I can't be bothered with the details, so who cares? But during the initial task our initial test, the laser made a red dot on the wall. All scientists in the room went crazy. They were jumping all around, fighting like primitive animals, and was even more effective on dogs. It triggered the desire to hunt prey. That sounds terrible. I would never want to be like that. Oh, dear police dog, don't you worry. You might enjoy being a little bit more feral. Just to be clear, you went to Fluffy's house with Pavlov, and under your orders, he threw Fluffy through the window. Yes, and I found some interesting info on this computer, which led me to, to who had possession of the laser's blueprint. You stole it and murdered the cat in the street. Ooh, you're finishing my sentences. We must be made for each other. Okay, I get that you were behind the two murders, but you're wondering about the fake leads? Yes? Mm, sure, sure. I'm quite proud of those, you know. What would you like to know? Maybe about the cult? The secret underground cult. That was specially made just for you, Inspector. I needed to make sure I wouldn't be disturbed while stealing the ruby for the laser. It was the best way to keep you out of my fur. You're too much of a threat to my plans and the only one who could challenge my in who could challenge me intellectually. Well, besides pancakes, of course. But I don't need to paint you a picture now, do I? Why not just kill me though? For the fun of it, Waffles! It was far more enjoyable to watch you stumble and falter and lose the respect of your team. I'm not a psychopath after all. Debatable, but go on. I know you'd leave no stone unturned. Your personal life may be a mess, but you're a perfectionist when it comes to detective work, even if you do have a minimal respect for procedure. So why not simply plant some fake clues in your case? Sure, it needed extra time and planning. 
Getting into Irwin's house or finding 30 cats for a cult, a lot of preparation was needed. But I knew the payoff would be worth it. We must enjoy the little things, you know? It really was a treat to watch unfold. I almost owe you thanks. I should have known better. I should have seen through those clues. Oh, don't blame yourself. I did incredible work orchestrating all that, and you really couldn't have been expected to know any better. Any other false leads you'd like to discuss? Um, um, the Polaroid. The fake Polaroids of both victims. Of course, those were for patches. I planned on you being out of the picture by the time he found the second one, and without you or pancakes. Well, none of us were surprised by how poorly he handled the case from there. All of which was the second part of my plan. Patches would believe that Maple was the next target. He didn't stop the thing twice before heading to Maple's office, and so off we went quietly, pocket the ruby we needed without any police interference. They were all looking for a threat that didn't exist. Maha! <laughs> I know, I know. I'm quite the genius. The plan worked to perfection. We had the ruby, the cannon was ready and secure, and everything was going very smoothly. We decided to lay low for a bit and headed to the nearest safe house, but when we arrived, we saw both of you there, with Pavlov leading the cotton candy shop. So I did something I detest. I changed my plan. You had uncovered too much of it, so I decided to deploy the laser as soon as possible. And I suppose you thought the same, so here you are, trying in vain to stop me. You've got that right. Too late now, my friends. We're only waiting on patches to let everyone out because of the pen pending threat. And then, showtime, we initiate the laser and create what I love most in the world. Chaos. I can hardly wait. It's such a powerful feeling. One that I deserve for all my hard work, but patches is being a bit slow, as you could expect. So while we're waiting, I guess this means it's my turn to ask questions. I hope you'll be as respectful as I was and answer with complete honesty. My first question is a simple one. Why did you go to see Malo in prison? Why did you want to interrogate him? To what end? <clears throat> I wasn't linked to Fluffy's death, after all. The white hair. No. There we go. Actually, I found a hair in Fluffy's office. It belonged to you. DNA match and all. Ah, oh, I see. In spite of perfectly executing every step of the way, the only betrayal was by my own fur. One of my crew secured a key pass that would allow me through Fluffy's bathroom to the top floor. Pavlov couldn't have done the job on his own, so I had to be there. Oh well, it doesn't matter anywhere. anyhow. The only difference is that you had a small preview of my return to the spotlight. Heh. <laughs> You know, I was involved in one way or the other, but how did you find the safe house? How did you make the connection to the shop? I cannot figure it out. Spotty picked up the sugary trail back of the station, and we followed it without any idea what we'd find along the way. It's your little friend here who did all the work. I wasn't expecting that at all. And why would that be? Spotty's a talented sniffer dog. No, not that. You have never been the type to ask another police cat or dog for help on the case. But you're not ashamed to call your little mommy, are you? Do you know how many times you called her during your investigation? Eleven. Quite a few times indeed. Do you plan on cutting the apron strings at some point, Inspector? Oh, I kept track of how often I had to call for help. Oh no. Anyways, ever since pancakes fell from the roof, you, you devolved into a loner and a milkaholic. But good for you, Waffles. Happy to see you're back on your paws. But such a shame you've got other issues to deal with now, though. Yes? Wait. Do you hear that sound? That's the sweet music of a crowd in motion. It's time to start our little machine. Pepper, are you ready? Don't forget to shield your eyes from the outside. Spotty, you know what to do, remember? This is it's so good. 
I love the art. Oh my god. Yes! The good guys won, I think. A couple of weeks later. Hey, hi. Uh, can I get everyone's attention? As some of you know, I've decided to leave the department. I've been on the force for more than 10 years and uh, I now feel like now and uh, now feels like the right time to do something different. While investigating Fluffy's case, I made a lot of mistakes, like a lot. And I know everybody goofs sometimes, but I want to be honest about my abilities with myself and all of you. To be frank, the situation could have been a lot worse without the detection dedication we saw from Spotty and Waffles. If not for them, I could have made an even bigger mess. I owe them both a debt of gratitude. I was worried they'd get along like cats and dogs, but I'm very happy to see I was wrong. Oh, sure, you're welcome, Chief. Pixel, you too. Everyone who works here, really. I mi I'll, I'll miss each one of you. We'll miss you too, Chief. Do you know what you're going to do? I think so. I always say to everyone, I met, I'm me, I'm a gourmand, and it's time to put my food where my mouth is. You'll see soon enough. Oh, I wonder if he's going to buy the shop. You aren't going to say? I'm curious. No, 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 it's a surprise. But you're all on the invite list. Croissant for peanut, cinnamon coffee for mocha, hot dog for Spotty. It'll be my treat. Speaking of, has anyone seen Spotty? I'm not sure. Let's find him before celebrating. A good idea, Chief. Yeah, we're cooking with gas. One last pun for the road, huh? Forever and always. There'll be missed patches by everyone here. No need to be sentimental waffles. It's time for me to head out. But before that, let me introduce you to your new chief. Everybody, give a warm welcome back to Pancakes! Hey everybody, I'm uh, not good at making speeches, but here we are, so I've got to do it. Mayor Cookie is going to join us later. So one long and tedious speech will make more than enough for all of us. Friends, you cannot imagine how happy I am to be back here with each of you. Just being able to work again is a treat. Many times I thought it would be impossible for me, both physically and emotionally, but you were all so kind and gracious to me while in recovery, I will never forget what you all have done for me. I feel better than I have in a long time and can't wait to work alongside the team again. We're going to do some amazing work for our city. And that's all for me for now. It's time to enjoy our party. I'd like to propose a toast to wait. Waffles, could you find Spotty for us? I don't want to make a toast without our favorite sniffer dog. Oh, yeah, back in a minute. Mm. Hey, Waffles. How have you been? I haven't seen you at the Metal Heart lately. Oh, hi, Cha. Yeah, I've been doing some DIY work in my apartment. I think I'm going to take better care of it than I did before. But I'll be back to the metal heart soon. <clears throat> It'll be good to hang out if you're going to be there. But what are you doing here at the party? Oh, I just wanted to say goodbye to Patches. He came to pick you up from the bar so many times. I feel like I know him almost as well as I know you. Oh, cool. Very cool. Inspector! Ask her out! Everyone's waiting. What? You're maybe the best inspector in town, but you have zero clue when a girl likes you. Aren't you supposed to be at the buffet with everyone else? No, Mocha says I'm not allowed near the buffet until everyone has had at least one plate. Last time I got there first and ate pretty much everything. People were upset. But that's the important now. You're talking with your girl. You're talking with your friend. I'm not going to interrupt anymore. I've said what I needed to say. Um hear you two whispering. It's not wrong, though, Waffles. When are you going to ask me out? Uh, yes? Do you want to get a drink sometime? Waffles, I own a bar. That's the last thing I want to do in my spare time. True. Well, um, you'll figure it out. I'm going to chat with pa Patches. See you soon. Mind if I ask you something? Sure, Peanut. Is she going to be your girlfriend? Like, I like her. I'm going to look for Spotty and pretend I've never heard your question. Was he at the hot dog? Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy, what are you doing out here? We're all waiting for you. Oh, I'm coming. Just give me a minute. What's going on, Spotty? I already told you. It's just something I prefer to, I prefer to be alone. 
Hey, listen, you and I are alike, you know, but I asked you for help with Fluffy's case. I didn't really want you around. Well, not for too long, at least. I didn't think anybody could prove helpful, and I was afraid for getting too close to anybody else. But you stuck around, and you're a wonderful friend to have around. You're the best partner I could have asked for. Just don't tell that to Pancakes. Uh-huh. Inspector, I really don't know what to say. I... Well, inside the station, there are a bunch of friends at the party waiting to see you. Take your time if you need to be alone for a bit, but enjoy the good moments when you can. Don't let them pass, up, pass by, and right now is one of those moments. Spotty? Earlier, Inspector, did you say we're friends? Yes, friends. Please, just call me Waffles. I... Yeah? Like cats and dogs. Ah! Oh, that was so good! And the art is fantastic. I love it. Oh my goodness. I'm sure I miss like wool cards and all sorts of stuff, but <laughs> Moon Pirate. My parents, my sister, my grandparents, and their incredible support through the years. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I really hope there are more of these games because like Yeah. Um, this was such a treat. Oh my goodness. With um, Unity, Marmoset, Hexels, Dot, Tween, on FMA. Okay. Goloso Games. I really hope to see more. This is so good. This is this might be my favorite game I've played on the channel. Seriously. Ah, Inspector, how are you today? Hello, Erwin. I've got some good news to share. Presenting you your Wool Ball, wool ball Collectible Card Album. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. And it's all yours now. Have a good day. Wait, let me check the cards inside. Oh darn, some rare cards are still missing. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't able to find them all. Well, it's still better than nothing. Thanks for your dedication, Inspector. Hmm, it would have been interesting to see what happened if I had found all the cards. Well, too late now. I can't redo the adventure. Or can I? Cute! <sighs> oh, another game that I can't uninstall until I get all the hidden stuff. Alright guys, well that is the end of Inspector Waffles. Um, this is so good. I loved it. I loved it. It wasn't perfect. I had to call mom 11 times. Um, but no, it was really great, and um, I'm really hoping that this team makes more games. Like, this was really good. Um, yeah. Alright, guys. Well, let me know what you thought of it uh, down below, and um, any suggestions you might have for uh, games going forward. Alright, guys. Well, as always, thanks for watching. Take care, and happy sipping.